Hello everybody, these are my vinyl finds from June 30th, 2020. I've had these for nearly almost two and a half months now, but just haven't done a video yet and figured I'd share these with you. I'm actually slowly getting around to listen to all of them. Um, I actually listened to this one, Hank Williams Jr. After You, Pride's Not Hard to Swallow on the um, GM label. Clean this up. What's the record looks like. Here's the next one. It's a um, like DJ rap beats type. Uh, DJ Gumby Flow, I didn't know what it was. I think figured it was some kind of hip hop like DJ record. And that's it right there. Pretty good. I played this, it needs cleaned up a little more. These are all a dollar each, by the way. Except the one I'll get to, and that one I paid ten for. And I'll show you which one it is. Now we're up to Johnny Deck Duncan. You're gonna need a man. This is actually still sealed, folks. And um, so, saw that for a dollar. I'm assuming it's, yeah, it's country. I guess it's country music by these, with these liar notes, say. Johnny Duncan, the man who made Sweet Country Woman, is no Johnny come lately. He grew up making country music with his childhood friend, Jimmy Seals. So, to try this out. Not too familiar with him. This is missing, but it's the record still inside. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, The Works. <clears throat> Michael Soothing ASMR has some great things to say about them and true things. And I happen to pick this up for a dollar. I don't know if the label came like here. If that's a promo label, I'll figure I'd show that to you. It's quite interesting. It's pretty good. It says it's promotional here. There's a picture on the back. Next is the Beatles featuring Tony Sheridan on the Mr. Pickwick label. My late neighbor Debbie had it on the American Polydor, I believe. This is supposed to be made in England. This is like the version of Pickwick, I think, in England. Though. Good stuff. I remember the sound. I just didn't have my own copy. So Pete Best was still in the group. Great album. If you like the Beatles, check it, check it out. It's about 1960, 61, 62 recordings of theirs. And next we got the Pudding Pot Man himself, Mr. Bill the Cosby. <laughs> this was just a dollar. And um, I thought this was pretty good. Played it. Some of these tracks I've heard before, but a lot of them I didn't. I think this is on the MCA label. Well, I think the original pressings may have been on Uni. There's a track listing, and this toilet, bedroom slippers, sulfur fumes, slow class, great stuff. One of my favorite bands of all time, this is the Association, the 60s, early 70s, they were really good, and uh, I have one or two copies of this, I might actually go through my copies. Maybe give this one to my niece so she can get a nice introduction to them. Because she collects vinyl now, but this is only a buck. And this might be an upgrade to my other copies that I had. Now, it's weird. You know how you can, on the video, see the outlines of the people better? Well, they're barely visible to my naked eye. But I can see, you, I can see the band better through the lyrics on the camera. That's crazy how it picks up different. It has all the lyrics on the back. My favorites on the album, I would say, are Time for Living, Wendy, No Fair at All, We Love, 
Um, Enter the Young. Those are probably my most favorites. And everything it touches you. Three Dog Night. Now this originally I think came like a box type shape album. So this flaps on it. And I think it may have come with a deck of cards. Or a partial deck of cards of the band members. But this has pieces of April on it. Seven Separate Fools. Great song of Pieces of April since I discovered it. The High and Mighty. Dirty Decibels. Figure this is some kind of a hip hop album. Raucous Records. They are. Seems interesting. Pictures of their jerseys and their shoes, I guess, in their rooms or whatever, and their two turntables. <laughs> So, Weed, B-Boy Delight. I think there's two copies of it in here. So, check that out. And then next we have um, Big Brother and the Holding Company. This album is minus Janis Joplin on vocals. So, I guess they continued on without her. Here's the band here. And that's the track listing to it. Now this album's interesting. Now I mainly got it because I'm from a friend and teacher and do collect their records from time to time, especially their albums. So I like to hear their versions of uh, Midnight Cowboy was a big hit of theirs. It comes with this special, this Ultra Audio series. And I guess it's supposed to be like a four channel stereo type thing. Huh, there's no something else in here. Huh, an Audio Fidelity magazine. But anyway, I saw how different this label was. Ultra Audio. Never heard of this type of uh, United Artist disc before. It's definitely from the 60s. If this has any information to that, you'll have to let me know. But it must have be like really higher fidelity and like real stereo separation must be going on. So that's the back of wall to wall stereo. Neil Diamond Stones. Am I Said is on it. Chelsea Morning, Crunchy Granola Sweet. I Am I Said Reprise. The Knock Light Disco Tech Volume 2. Nice ABC Command label, so it's probably a little later of one. Gilbert O'Sullivan. Alone Again Naturally. So now I have this on vinyl. I had this on 8-track tape only, but now I have it on a record, so... It's a little cleaning up. This should be all right. MAM 4. It's the record label. Here's Charlie Rich. His greatest hits on Epic. And there's a track listing. Very nice, clean disc. Music is Spring. Columbia Special Products. This is loaded some 45 RPMs of Jerry Morgan. Here's all the artists on the back. Jerry Vale's on here and your Christie Minstrels. It's a nice various artist album from Scott's Turf, I guess. So I guess it's a promotional item here's this album theme from a summer place all-star parade and other great hits from the movies I have this on reel-to-reel -reel tape I originally got this on an old reel-to-reel -reel studio tape years ago 
and that's uh, a six eye Columbia. So it's probably about original. I believe this is from about 1959. Probably 60 at the latest. So now I have it on vinyl too. Great photos of the artist on the back. Darna Foger, the happiest girl in the whole USA. I finally got the album to it now. I always liked that woman. For a long time, I thought I had this down with this hit on it, but it was just called uh, USA or whatever, and it was a different album, was the track, but now this is the album that goes to it. So, still in the... Yep, Donna Fargo. Very nice. I'm the happiest, yep. Funny Face, too, is another hit of hers on there. Dwayne Eddy, nice Dwayne Eddy album, Silky Strings. There's some slower and different songs for him. Living Stereo Pressing. Very nice. That's the back of it. The Ink Spots. And Crown. We'll climb the highest mountain, we'll meet again. Teach his own. Good record. I like to collect all different versions of the ink spots. A little bit rough, but it should play okay. Here's an odd and interesting copy of a Tammy Wynette album. Kids say the darndest things, and it got like a lot of crayon drawings on it. Well, that's the way it's actually made. Has a version of divorce on it. It's kind of dirty and needs a lot of cleaning up, but I got it because of the rarity and oddity of it. This must have came with the same owner as the Hank Williams album. Yeah, could say the darndest things. Not Art Link letter, but Tammy, why not? So that'll be an interesting one. And last but not least, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, or also known as the Dirt Band, make a little magic. I listened to it, it's a great album. It's on 